Guys, we're shooting a commercial today. We're shooting a commercial. You are? Yeah, are you? Yeah, we've got a pitch pack studio. Well, we've shut down this whole street. Well, we're flying a guy in the air. Well, so are we. Well, mine's gonna be better. No, mine is. No, mine is. Let's, Let's let, let them, them decide. decide. Let's Bye. go. Yes, you heard it right. We're filming two commercials in two days for Artless Max. What's Artless Max? It's the new all-in-one subscription for video creators. And here's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so it's very early in the morning, all a bit tired, got a big fat coffee with me. But we're on our way to our first production of this trip. As you can see, we've arrived at the studio for our first production. We've got one today and one tomorrow, and this one today is in this pitch black studio behind us. We're gonna be adding lots of different lighting, lots of cool effects, and make it look sick for this commercial. The first shot of the day is the guy at the desk, which in the final commercial is used for quite a few shots. To create this really cool dramatic effect, we're using an LED floor that you can see here and a big balloon light behind him. All of this lighting is actually done on set and not in post to really place the actor in the world we've created in the studio. And the shots really need to be filmed exactly as we want to make post easier. This setup includes the rig shot where we're lifting the actor up. We did this to portray how Artless Max can really elevate your content with the actor being lifted up in the air. I want to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean this high. <laughs> Tell her, what was it like to be on the rig? Scary, but exhilarating. I recommend for all of you to do it if you have the opportunity because it makes you feel like you're flying. Three, two, one. Action! There is actually quite a lot of post-production that we need to do for this commercial. To make it easier, we actually put trackers on the laptop for the VFX artist to add in the UI in post. Now it's time to get into the magic of makeup. We started creating this look three hours ago and the effect is to trick the camera into capturing a real life Jack in the Box using black makeup to cover up her body. We wanted to emphasize the amount of diversity there is in content creation, highlighting makeup artists. From here, things are only getting more extreme. We have to get the last few scenes of the day done. The next few setups are quite funky and playful. We're actually managing to get the perfect shot in only a few takes. This final shot is actually one of the trickiest one to get. We protected the letters of the word onto the model's faces, but after lots of trial and error, we finally got it right. And that is a wrap on production number one. We're on day two of our two productions in two days for the Artless Max. Lots and lots of exciting things happening today. Today is actually a night shoot. So the first scene we're shooting today is actually going to be the last scene in the commercial. Crazy! Wow. Amazing. We basically are at this street in the middle of a town. We fully shut down the whole street here. Like normal coffee shop, lovely, lovely. But all of the actors are actually getting their hair and makeup done here. Best food ever. Delicious. Mm. Okay, this is our first location over here. This is our producer, say hello. Hello. Goodbye. Are you ready to rock? Yes. Okay, let's rock. Three, two, one. They're filming this at one frame per second, which means that the camera is moving slowly for about three minutes to get a seven second clip that will look like a time lapse. The outcome, is super, super sick. I can't wait for the next shot. I'm already tired and it's only 6 p.m. This scene, we're now filming inside of a shop in front of a glass window, but the glass window has a big LED screen behind it with an image that is going to be reflected through. Let's have a look at how it turns out. Bravo. Wow, great shot, everyone. Now, this was a really long day, but there's still more to go. It's 1.30 a.m. and we're halfway through the second shoot. Two shoots and two days. It's hard work, people are tired. You want to get it done before the sun rises. Are we going to do it? Who knows? One of the challenges of a night shoot is that you have to get all of the shots done before sunrise. Directing this many extras takes time. 
The preparation of the director is vital here, as well as the flexibility to think on the spot when obstacles like this occur. Each scene is actually set at a different point along the street, so the camera needs to be moved and reset and put on different rigs and cranes each time, which is why we used a run and gun camera to be agile. Attaching this actor to the rig in midair takes a lot of precision, especially at four in the morning. And sometimes being on a time crunch means the perfection isn't always attainable. But look how cool it turned out. You can really see how the power of sound from the speakers below him sends him flying. And now we're finally on to the showstopper, an actual motorbike stuntman doing a wheelie around this actor. Thankfully, we have an hour left until sunrise, so we've got time to get it right. Did you think we put this together in post? Think again, it's actually happening right now. We work with amazing stuntmen and professionals to make sure that we can pull this off as safely as possible. That's it, we did it. We filmed two commercials in two days. Watch the final videos on our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more behind the scenes content. Now this is how you take your videos to the max. Go to alice.io.